Hey, happy Monday, everybody. This is Beth Kanaus from That's a Spade Copywriting Services, and I am here to give you your Monday minutes, which is something for you to think about as you go through the week. And I've been thinking a lot lately about this statement that we hear people say, that nothing is original. Everything's been said and heard before. And I think when it comes to facts or things that are very general, um, or generic, I think that that's probably true. However, this is where using your unique and original voice comes in, right? When you're writing your content and you're giving your perspective and your opinion and using your energy and your voice to talk about it, you're not just delivering something generic. You're deliver delivering something individual and personalized. So I'm going to say something right now and I want you to think about it. When you separate yourself by writing and sharing unique and bold content with your audience, you eliminate comparison. I'm gonna say it again. When you separate yourself from the masses of your peers and your competitors by writing unique and bold content, you eliminate comparison. You're cho choosing to stand out, to step into the spotlight and give your pure and genuine message. And it is not the same as anyone else's, right? So I'm gonna give you another thing to think about. We can get caught in these cycles, right? This factory of, I have to produce, I have to produce content, blogs, social media, website copy, newsletters. And we get into this conveyor belt habit of doing that, right? as opposed to saying, instead of factory, how do I write what's fulfilling, right? Instead of writing the same stuff as everybody else, that generic and general stuff, how do I write something that's engaging and dynamic and conversion worthy, right? How do I write those things? Because when you're stuck on the conveyor belt, what happens is you get random clients, right? And initially we start out, we think, yeah, clients are good, all clients are good. But once you realize the specific type of clients you want to work with, if they see you working with just anybody, they don't understand that they're your ideal client. So until you are willing to take this brave step, right? I understand it's a little blind faith and be a little bolder in what you say, a little more specific and personalized to you and your knowledge and experience and your perspective and how you feel about it, you're not going to attract those ideal clients, but you need them to attract more ideal clients. So if you would like to talk further about that, I'd be happy to hop on a call with you and chat about it and give you some tips and ideas, do a little brainstorming. Feel free to private message me. Um, I would love that. And the last thing I'm gonna ask you for is, for those of you who listen on the regular to the Monday Minute, if there's something that you would like to hear me talk about, something uh, that you'd like to clear up or get some feedback on, something that maybe you're not so confident about in your content writing, I would love to know about it. And that way I can talk about it in one of my Monday Minutes. I hope you guys have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week.